Cha. Hey Ray Babies, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a super amazing day today. Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and watching another video. I know it's been a while, but that's what today's video is about. Where in the world I've been, what's been going on, what I've been doing. I started the year off strong and now we're here. But <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why. So just grab you some coffee because that's what I got. Grab you some coffee so we can chit chat. And this may be a little series we start. You know, we may catching up with Ray, coffee and something. I don't know. Um, just to give you guys an update on my goals and things like that. So, if you didn't know, um, January through May, I was doing my internship. So, actually, um, ah, I just got an email about it. <laughs> okay, so actually, um, January, like I said, January through May, I was on my full-time internship. Last August, excuse me, last August through December. I was doing my part-time internship same school same class but just in january everything was full-time so that being said i had quit my job my full-time job whatever and i was trying to save as much as much as i could then um to prepare for me being out of work technically and um whatever everything was good all right cool so now february let's see the classes i was taking were my internship class basically was the class to help me learn how to teach and the second class was um the class that prepared me for my ed tpa girl when i tell you that ed tpa almost took your girl out of here <laughs> it was a lot so that's why literally literally, literally, literally. i couldn't do anything else like i the only thing I could do was go to class, make my lesson plans, um, come back to school, teach those lesson plans, and work on my ATP. Like literally, that is all. Like that, that's that was it. And like the other time, of course, I went towards family and um, stuff like that. But girl, that was it. Like I, I didn't realize how much time and effort sweat and tears that ed tpa was gonna take out of me uh it was it was a lot it was a lot um but thank god i got through it thank god i got through it and then because it was six weeks long um and i had to plan a lot i'm gonna make a video on all that getting into the details of that but it just know it was a lot so if you are taking your ed tpa right now one thing i will tell you is please Take a little bit, take a little bit of time for yourself if you can. I, I know it's hard because I just got dumping, got just finished doing it. Um, just take a little bit of time for yourself. Yourself, start early. I mean, even with me starting early, it still was a lot. So just, just do what you can. Doing my ATPA through February and March just really took a lot of my time. So there was, it was no way in the world I could record and make content like I wanted to. It was just. A lot so that's where I was that's where I was and what I was doing really in um, January through March literally I was just trying to keep my head above water um April and May I was literally that's when I started beginning teaching every day so well let's see yeah I think so I was like in the March April I was starting to pick up a lot on teaching so at this point like on the weekends, I'm literally looking over lesson plans, making sure I got everything together, trying to make sure I get um, my lesson plans in on time, and just all that good stuff. So, it, like, again, just trying to catch my breath. Like, literally, my my um, internship from January to um, May, it was so fulfilling, though. Like, I learned so much. I just didn't have time <clears throat> to do anything else. But and I want and that was and it's good in a way because I wanted to keep all my focus on school anyway. I give the highest ups <laughs> to the people that are going through a full time internship, literally teaching, doing everything, and you you're getting out of school and going to work. Bless your heart. I like yeah, I did it with kids. Um, and not to say that's not like Lauren or anything, but it's a lot. And I can only imagine <clears throat> trying to go to your internship every day then go to work oh my goodness so and we all we all know that we we hopefully we see the day where people start to get paid for these internships because yes i get it it's time and experience but please a stipend would be nice 
<laughs> um, but yeah, so literally, that's where I've been, guys. School. Like, I did not know that school, this full, t this full time internship, I didn't know it was going to take so much of my time, so much of my effort. Like, I knew it was going to take, you know, this full time. I knew it was going to be a lot, but I was so unprepared on, how, like, just being realistic about how much time I was gonna have to put into it. It was so much fun, like I learned so much and I learned like teaching is really gonna be awesome. Um, as long as I don't get behind on things, I think I'm gonna be great. I'm gonna be great. Um, I just, it, it was a lot for me, it was a lot for me. And um, so it, I just didn't have time to record or post. And like I had so much content ready well kind of ready but i had so much content to edit and i was like i can't even edit this like i literally have to get these lesson plans in just trying to wrap my mind around that just trying to make sure that everything was put together so i could pass and everything was um in order it was a lot and then i was practicing um one of my fourth tests for my fourth test too and my fourth exam is basically is the reading portion of the test we have to take to pass to get our licenses for teaching so and i had the, my goal was to try to get all this stuff done before um i graduate which thank god i did because now the only thing i have to do is finish my last two classes which is which will be finished june 20th whoop, whoop, and it'll be finished then and so i can uh, apply for my teaching licenses and we can be on the road i am so so excited to start teaching like I like I know it's gonna be hard work but I am so excited I just feel so good about it um I'm just I'm excited it's a new adventure the time is here like I said I know it's gonna be hard work but I'm excited it I believe anything in life is what you make it so we're gonna we're gonna go in with a good mindset and we're gonna have an awesome year and I can't wait to take you guys along with me I can't wait to show you guys all the teacher stuff I got so be ready for the teacher content because it's coming too you guys that's why being in school really took a lot out of me in a good way but as far as time I just had to prioritize what was important and at the time passing those tests <clears throat> were, was very important as far as my goals um you see I'm still a little chubby <laughs> still a little chubby that's okay um I'm trying to go ahead and to start just really reeling it in as far as trying to meet my weight goals and my health goals like that um yeah that's that and as far as uh, finances I am trying my hardest to figure out like those things um but one goal i have been doing great on is fitness goals you know most of those i'm gonna watch every month my monthly challenges this there it is my monthly challenges and i have every single last one of them are checked off and we're in june i haven't did june yet june yet um but i think june is like six days of moving so I'm definitely going to try to hit my goal for June. My goal is to do every every month of the year for one full year because I, I, I really see like over the past few years I've had my watch and I can see like what months I've, um, I, I got the challenge and I kind of start trickling off around May, June. So I'm not going to trickle off. Like I'm going to keep myself held accountable at least for one of these goals. Um, but yeah. So it's this the the first half of this year was amazing. I've learned so much. I've moved. Um, I've graduated. It's just a lot of new changes has came has came into my life, and I'm so thankful for it. Um, it's just so good. Things things have been great. It's been hard, um, but God has been looking out for me. He has. I'm I I am God's favorite. Okay, I am His favorite. I'm sorry <laughs> I'm his favorite because things has been just working out for me and I am so thankful because this is what I pray for this like it's 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 amazing and I have to give him thanks um and also too I thank you guys for just coming back to my channel watching me chit chat literally just talking <laughs> um it's uh, like creating content like I was saying on one of my posts I really do enjoy creating content um and I don't want negativity to get in my mind and stir me away from creating because it's it's literally something i do like to do and 
I just really appreciate you guys so much for just still being here, just coming and watching me talk about where I've been. <laughs> like, I really appreciate that. Yeah, that's really all I had to say. And also, too, I've still... This book has been helping me out a lot. This is my Artist of Life book. I told myself that I was going to write in this book. I was going to make the purchase worth it. Like, I bought this book in 2021 and 2022. And um, I didn't really write in it like I want to. I would, again, start off good because I would just have the beginning of the year jitters and just do so good. But I told myself, you are going, you are going to hold yourself accountable and you are going to make it work. So in order, I think somewhere in this book is say, um, this book doesn't work unless you do or something like that, girl. And I've been trying to at least put in, um, like the, the, the end of the month reviews and all that reflections. I've at least tried, been trying to reflect at the end of every month. So that's that. This is that has, has been helping me out a lot, but it's all coming together. I'm super grateful, super thankful, and I again I thank you guys for just holding on with me and and staying here. So I really do appreciate that. And I think that's it that I really had to update you guys on. Just a quick little video on where I've been, where I, you know where we're going. Um, you know, just the content. It's gonna it's not gonna be all over the place, but it's definitely gonna be a little bit of everything. And like I always say, that that's. Well, my channel is just a little bit of everything so um the finance fridays will definitely be coming back i know you guys love those so finance fridays will be coming back soon i don't know how soon but it'll be a couple weeks it'll be coming and um i got some videos some teacher content like i said that's coming um uh i'm gonna be showing you like mom mom life mom vlogs i'm trying to work on getting me a vlog camera because this camera is my add and girl it is big like i can't vlog with this so i'm going to try to find me those sony i like the sony ones i think everybody has those so and the i like how um they look the the quality of it is pretty good so i'm going to work on that so i can show you guys around and just take you guys with me and i may post some of the old content that i vlogged or that i recorded we'll see but anyway but again like i said thank you guys so much for just being here with me staying with me and like we, we're still in this thing together girl 2023 isn't over yet we still have six months it's our halfway point and we are still in this thing together so i've been talking oh i've been talking 15 minutes see <laughs> all right this coffee is good mm. no little coffee place i'm trying it's good mm -hmm. that's it okay all right, Ray Babies. Well, again, thank you so much. I love you. And if you ain't a Ray Baby, then what you doing? You ain't here. Like, comment, subscribe, nothing. Mm. <laughs> I love y'all. Bye.